day everybody welcome back to the studio I'm really happy and excited to show you some new product new resins out on the market uh, some of them still not on the market but it will be shortly there's only a few little technical things with labels and things like that they need to be done before they are on the market uh, available for everybody to to have a go at um, we'll be presenting to you three of the resins uh, that were kindly sent to me um, and I, I can't tell you how exciting this is for me to test out something that hasn't been out there yet um, which is amazing uh, here we go the company is called platinum premium epoxies um, so here we go this this is the number one I'm going to show you uh, and look at this Food grade, or is it that way? I can't see. Everything's back to brunt right now. Um, big bold letters. Who does that? I mean, really, this is great. So we can use it on our cheese boards, on our countertops, on our placemats, all kinds of things that you you, you use to put food on. So mm, one to one ratio is this one. Uh, at the moment, it's called Art Coat Resin. I don't know if it's going to stay that, but there's a label there just for the sake of it. Um, and it's really exciting. It comes in one liter, two liter, four liter. Um, and it's got no nasties in it. So if you have any allergies, you're safe to use this one. It's thick. This is a, a fairly thick consistency. And you will see, great for doming, doing things like that. Jewelry, we only need to put like a few drops in there and it will contain that, that shape which is really, really, really cool art coat. I did a little sample already, so there it is, but you will see the process. Uh, Super coat, I actually used this one to do the top of my little box. If you haven't seen it, there's a series of six videos of the process, like four sides, and then I did the, the um, top, and I did the, one of the sides twice because I mucked it up. So, um, I love this, this resin. It is absolutely amazing. This one is food grade as well. The consistency is medium. Um, and it's just uh, lovely to work with. Working time, I think I worked on it two hours and it was still great. So, um, and you can really heat it up a lot. Uh, you know, I, I use that torch because I do this when I'm testing new products, you know, because I want to see what they can do, even if I muck it up. I don't care. It's not, it's not uh, something that I'm doing to look pretty. I want to, I want to force things and, and see how it mixes with uh, my pigments, how it mixes with the micas and, and what it does. So absolutely love this one. Most UV resistant uh, resin in the world it actually says it down here so that's a big statement and it's great and I wish the writing was a little bit bigger because even with my glasses I can't really see um, okay so everything else is pretty regular you have to have the right temperature so that it doesn't you know not too cold not too hot about 25 degrees Celsius two to one ratio and this one is uh, measured by volume let me just oh I can't really see that on here but I'm pretty sure I measured this one by volume the other one that I showed you the first one is measured by weight so that's that one and I love how the, the tops of the part B are red so you can't make a mistake just make sure you put it on the right one this one is a very cheeky has a very cheeky name uh, it's called a skinny resin. It was a bit of a, you know, toss between how to name them. And Des said, uh, you know, what do you reckon about this this name? And I love it. I think it's a real cheeky and cute name for it. It's, it's a, it's a fairly um, thin resin. So both usually the part B is. A, bit thinner than your part A with every resin um, but even see this is part A and when you mix them together it's, it's together it's it's quite thin um, so I've tested this one absolutely lovely hardly any bubbles 
and that's because it's so thin that you know it allows the the bubbles to rise up to the surface easier uh, there's not no resistance there and also the the first one that I showed you it's uh, self it has a self gassing formula in it so even though this one when you mix it you're going to get a million bubbles but you leave it sitting there for a while and they will naturally especially when you lay it down we'll pour it down they'll, they'll start to pop up but we do like to speed things up with uh, with a heat gun and that you know obviously helps and you know you, you just do that naturally anyway so this skinny epoxy is brilliant to pour over surfaces that may need a little bit of fixing they just need they've got a few like potholes and and you've got some scratches and things like that that you want to hide or if you're anything like me and you burn the resin obviously not this one because this one you can just burn the crap out of out of it and it won't burn um so those sorts of little things because it's so thin and obviously self-leveling it'll level out cover all those things and it gives you this beautiful beautiful sheen uh, and you don't need to use a lot of it okay as this other one which i said is quite thick obviously you wouldn't use for that so it's good to have a couple of different resins so that's it um no more talking about this they're all food grade they are all uh nasties free which is brilliant because we can use them and not have to you know worry about getting any rashes or you know all kinds of um uh, things that we get when when we uh, react to to a resin okay so stay tuned and uh, watch what comes on next where I'm actually making these and then following this video there will be another one where I am making wait a minute magical television or YouTube videoing okay so here we go this was the skinny one not pretty, like I said, but it's it wasn't made to be look pretty. It was just to test and see what it can do and uh, how it will work. And I have marked that in the back, so I know exactly what went on. And, and look at that. I don't know if you can see me in there. Um, but what you can see there, that's just that molten gold, which is kind of sitting on top. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, here's another one. I love this one. This one was the super. I absolutely love this one. I love the consistency. Everybody has their preferences. I love the, this sort of medium, not too thick, not too thin. And it's super shiny. Very shiny. And this is the one that I burned and burned and torched and, and everything. And look at that. Amazing. So, and then come this one, which is the art coat the thick one so I've got something in there oh there's nothing in there that's just that um, molten gold it just kind of sits on top like that which is pretty amazing but look at the details on that and all different same colors same method but all different which is pretty cool I think okay stay tuned too much talking as usual Let's go get some work done. Woohoo! Here we go. I've got my mold here. I've got my cups and I've got my resin. So I will start with the super coat. This is the one that I've already tried on my coffee table and it worked well. Very well, actually. So I will measure it in these little cups. This is two to one ratio. So one cup of this. Part B, which is your hardener, it's going in. It's one cup of that. And then, because it's so thin, it pretty much all of it comes out. So I'm not worried I can use the same cup for my part A. So two cups of part A. You you can you know measure it properly in a in a measuring cup I just don't have a small amount measuring cup it's uh, sort of all 
uh, starting from 100 mil and um, I need less than that for this experiment so that's why I'm doing it this way so there's one and now another one going in the other one the other two types of resin will be easy to do because because um, they're going to be measured by weight so I've got my scale ready and that's ready to go so anyway here we go now mixing time usually it shouldn't take more than a minute to a couple of minutes it's a little bit hard to see in this cup because it is white inside so I might just go get a clear cup That is unmixed. It's going over here. Here we go. Pour it right in there. Right in there. Trying to get all of it out. And then mixing. Let me come a little bit closer to you. So it looks pretty murky. At the moment. Keep mixing until it's nice and clear. Might have to stand up for this one. And it's already starting to clear up a little bit, but it's not ready yet. So keep going. A bit hard to see if I'm okay. So nearly there. You can see the bubbles are only tiny little miniature bubbles. We'll keep going. No odor. Can't smell anything. And um, I will put some information that I would like you to read, uh, you know, because I'm, I'm likely to forget to say everything that I need to say. But I did get information from Des uh, about this resin and he's saying this one is very safe to use and a lot of resins out there are quite toxic. So this is pretty awesome. So I think that is already, I haven't even been mixing for a minute, I don't think. It's just, I just like to make sure. So, okay, that one is cool. I'm going to leave that one there. might just label it with my pen and just put down on it, super coat. Righto. So that's that one done. Put you over there. Now, scale. Clean my mess that I made. Get my scale down here now. I'm going to get a clean cup. Right? Get them contaminating each other. Because they each do different things. Zero. I'm really excited to try this skinny one it is three to one ratio so if we go say oh, 20 to 60 I'm just trying to think how many milliliters I've got in there okay so about 20 milliliters of this one part B and then that one will be 40 okay here we go Waiting, 18, 20, 20 milliliters, cap back on, put it aside, and so it's 21, so I need to add another 42 to that, so you can tear it now, or you can just go 63, which is what I'm going to do. Thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, one, two, three. Woo! Now, if you go over by one or two mil or grams, rather, it's not going to make a huge difference. So that one there is done now. Let's mix that one. Mix. Okay, so here we go. You can really see the streaks in there, and I'm doing the same thing, aren't I? To do the clear cup. Wow, 
Little cats in the neighbourhood going through some pretty fun times. Okay, so here I got, I've got my clear cup now. So it does, did say that when you first start mixing it, it goes a bit murky. That's just the way it is, but it, it clarifies afterwards. So there we go, that's that cup. Give this one a bit of a stir as well, and I will, will mark this one. Wow, that did not take long at all. This one is a skinny one. Skinny. Here we go, look at that, that's already stirred. And of course you're going to have much less bubbles in here because it's really thin and it allows all the gases to, to float up top. So that's the skinny one. Now let's do the other one. Get the right cup this time. So that's already good. Now this one is one to one ratio. That one was three to one. This is one to one. So we're just going to do about maybe 30 milliliters of this one. Oh, look how thick that is. Let's do 30, 20. Oh, come on. Ah, another 30 of the art coat resin, a thick, thicker version. So this is. Sorry, I just got to watch what I'm doing here. 50. Six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Oh, and it just turned off just at the right time. So this was part B, a little bit thinner than part A. It's usually the case anyway. So this one is the, the thicker version, which is the art coat. This is a bit of a teaser because this product is not on the market yet. So it's quite exciting for me to be able to do this and quite an honor to be honest. Okay, so it is thick, okay? Not too thick. You can't sort of leave the stick in there and it'll stay. Not that kind of thick, but it's thick. So give it a good stir. It's looking quite milky. And I'm checking the other two resins and looking at the bubble in the clarity situation. And they look great. We're just going to keep stirring this one. And the first layer that we're going to do is... It's just going to be off clear. So I've got no colours here. I just want to make it clear and compare them. So that has got a lot of bubbles in there. But like I said, self-gassing formula. So you can go to town and give it a real good mix. So now... That it's combined, you can see that it's got a million bubbles in there, but uh, not as milky. So it's all it's all clearing, which is good. It's an indication that you've almost mixed it all up. Scrape down the bottom. That's looking good. Looks like it's mixed. It's a little bit harder to see in there because it's got a lot of bubbles. Can you see that? That's bubbles. And we're just going to leave that in there and check out my the first one. Super coat and the skinny coat. I'm just testing for clarity. And this is, let's just take some out. So skinny one is... Uh, obviously runnier than the super coat so 
So you can see I'm scooping out the same amount and this one runs out real quick. And you can feel it when you're stirring, this one's really thin. That's really awesome. Now, clarity-wise, they look good. The super coat actually looks clearer, a tad clearer than... It's pretty hard to tell, but anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's pour them down here and see what we get. Okay, so here I have my, my mold. And here we go. I've put some stickers on there so I know what's what. If you can see this skinny resin, which is a very thin resin, have a look inside. If you can spot a bubble, let me know. From here, looking from underneath, I can see some tiny little ones. But looking from up top, I can't really see anything. So it's skinny coming right in here. It's only going to be a clear coat of this just to kind of cover the bottom and I might use the rest of it for something else. I just actually go in there a bit more. That's that one. Now the art coat which is a, a little bit more, let that one sit a bit more. I've got the super coat also almost no bubbles that's going in as well just to cover the bottom and again I use the rest for something else I will torch it just because I like to and the art coat it's got a lot of bubbles in there, but once it's laid out, it should they should all pop out. So we'll, we'll see. So I'm just going to see how thick that is. Beautiful for doming. If you don't want a lot of movement, it's perfect. Let it, let it move all the way to the edge. So you actually literally have to move it because it's, it's pretty thick and it does not like to move by itself. I'm also going to also going to be checking every now and then to see which one sets faster. So that's that. Now we'll get my little torch. Oh, there goes those bubbles. Busted all of them. These ones didn't really have any bubbles. So now that I've done that, I'm going to move this out of the way and wait for it to, to set up and then show you the result. Alright, so here we are. We are back and here we go. I've already unmolded these before. That's why they're coming out so super easy because I was too curious and I wanted to see. I've got a little something in there that's got nothing to do with resin that's just me so wow I'm real happy this is a skinny one and you can actually see some marks here and that is again something that I had on my <laughs> mold which is not cool but uh, what can I put underneath here so that you can see how clear how clear that is look at that that's pretty cool very happy with that one that is the skinny one here comes the art coat also very oh very clear super clear super shiny I'm just looking at it sorry while I'm showing you and sorry that was the art coat that was a thick one and this here is the the super coat oh that is so gorgeous really really clear really clear 
I love this one. I think out of all of these, well, it's really hard to tell. I might have to just stick these on each one of these just so that I can sort of see what's what. Just on a, on a corner here. Otherwise, I'll get them all mixed up and then I won't know what's what. Which does happen, believe it or not. And the skinny one. I'll pop this right down here. So if I compare all three of them, they each look amazing. I'm just trying to kind of every each way I the skinny one you know what even looking at the video I really didn't mix this one properly so I'll put that aside I need to have a, another look at that but out of these two it's really hard to tell the difference which one is clearer than the other they're both really really good like I said, I did use this super coat one to um, to cover my coffee table, which I had some uh, like an acrylic pour over it, and it just come oh, it just turned out amazing. So I reckon they are all really, really good. As far as the consistency, I love loved working with the thick one which is the art coat and the super coat which is like a medium thickness the the skinny is really great for covering things like if you want to cover your photos or your um, artwork that hasn't worked out real good so you just want to put that top layer over it skinny one is great because it's thin it'll go into all the gaps and just level out beautifully so that's great but as far as uh, resin art I think these two so depending on what I'm doing if I want something to be really thick I will go with the with the art coat one um, and I, if I want something that is um, a little bit runnier not as thick the the super coat for sure for sure real happy real excited 